Let me just give you a very interesting view of this polling booth. Now, this is of course a model polling station and you know, Malda is famous for its mango production and this entire polling station has been decorated with installation art all related to mangoes. You can see of course, Fosli Am or this is called the Fosli Babu here in this, you know, a mascot of this polling station here. There's a selfie zone with mangoes. There's of course installation art with mangoes and Polling stations like these are interesting because obviously there is also a lot of facilities that the election commission has put together including wheelchairs for the disabled uh, to ensure that the voting is a more inclusive and accessible process. But also a lot of interesting art form, you know, interesting. I've not seen this at too many polling stations, you know, different brands of mangoes uh, as part of the installation art as people walk in to vote just to make the voting process a little bit more exciting, a little bit more interesting and a little bit more voter friendly, perhaps. But now coming to the serious question that you ask about violence, etc. That is something that obviously remains a concern in West Bengal. Malda, Murshidabad, we've heard some sporadic incidents in Murshidabad where some country made bombs were recovered in the morning. There was also some glowback slogans to Mohammed Salim, uh, the CPIM candidate in Murshidabad. <coughs> reports of some, uh, you know, uh, unauthorized polling agents in some polling booths. There's also the Trinamul Congress complaining uh, against Dhananjay uh, Ghosh, the, uh, you know, the candidate of the BJP for uh, heckling uh, one of their uh, booth presidents and also uh, some little sporadic incidents from Murshidabad coming in. Four seats are going to vote today. Malda North, Malda South, Murshidabad and Jongipur. Jongipur, like you know, was former President Pranam Mukherjee's seat. Murshidabad is seeing an interesting contest with the CPIM fielding senior leader Mohammed Salim. Malda North and Malda South are again interesting. Malda South is held by the Congress currently, but the Trinamool has fielded a young Oxford scholar who's still to complete his PhD and he has taken an extension for his PhD. The BJP has fielded Sri Rupa Mitra Chaudhary who lost by just a margin of eight to 9,000 votes last time. And the Congress is, of course, fielded Isha Khan Chaudhary, who is the son of the sitting MP. And in Malda North, again, you have uh, a former retired IPS officer, Prashan Banerjee, on the TMC ticket. You have Khogin Murbu, the incumbent MP, on the BJP ticket. And you also have the Congress candidate there as well. So it's a very interesting seat and it's an interesting phase because, like you mentioned, this is the phase where... And the fights are really on earlier. Seats were all BJP held seats and BJP stronghold. But now these are seats where there are fights. And therefore also some reports of sporadic, uh, you know, incidents that have come in since the morning, yes. which I mentioned earlier. But like I said, in the middle of all of that, this is a lovely polling station to be in Absolutely. with all the lovely installation art <laughs> relating to mangoes.